Hey guys, so I've gone over this once before, but I'm going to go over it again. On Fords, power steering lines. They used to use, I don't know if they still do, well, I mean, this is a 2006, but you never know. On Ford power steering lines, they used to use a plastic Teflon seal washer, whatever you want to call it. And without it, you're going to wind up with a leak. Problem is, when you take it apart, they get destroyed. So, I'm doing this engine on this Ford Focus, and i got to replace this seal. Let me show you something. So like I said, some of you already know about this. So this is the line where it goes into the pump. And now there's a seal that has to go down in here. Here's the seal. Now here's the problem. This is a hard plastic seal. This isn't like a rubber O-ring. Oops, I just dropped it. Problem is, it's too small. Let me go grab it because it fell in the bucket. So now if you look, you'll see it's way too small. Darn it, just dropped it again. It's way too small to fit over that. So what do you do? How do you get that thing actually in place? You don't want to use screwdrivers. You know, it will really distort the snot out of that thing. Let me show you what I do. What I do is I find a tapered socket like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this seal and I'm going to force it over the top of this. It's very close, but it's going to be a tight fit. I'm going to force it down on there. It'll stretch a little bit to get it on there. And then I'm going to stretch it all the way to this end. Now this end is actually a little bit bigger than the nut that the seal has to go on to. So this way the seal will actually stretch out and be bigger than the nut. This way it'll go over and then this way it'll shrink in place. All right, so I get the seal and I push, push it over like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the seal all the way down and get it up and over and onto this edge. So this way the seal will actually stretch. Once it's down and over and stretches, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute or two. Then I'm gonna take it off of there and I'm gonna stick it on there. So let me get this down. Let me show you. Now, this could take a little work. It's a little tricky, but let me do that, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Now, as you can see, I stretched it out and got it in there. Basically, I just used my fingers, both hands, stay focused, and I was able to get it down and on and into place. Now, if you look, if I hold this up to here, you will see the socket's actually just a hair bigger than the nut that goes on there. So I'm going to let this sit for a minute and then I'm going to quickly take this off of here and I'm going to push it on to the nut because what will happen is this thing is stretching right now it'll shrink and it'll shrink back to its original size but this will give me the opportunity to at least get it onto the threaded part and once it's on the threaded part then I could thread it down and get it caught down in this lower groove here. So let me do that. Alright so now that it's been there for a while let me see if I can't do this. I got the phone my camera propped up so let me see if I can't do this so you can see it. All right. You can see it in the camera and there, now it's over. So now you let it sit and that's gonna shrink back down and be in place. So now when I screw that back up into the pump, it's gonna go right in. I mean, that, there, you see that, that was not difficult. That was pretty darn simple. Uh, it doesn't take much. And like I said, it doesn't hurt them by stretching them like that. A lot of times, like for transmissions and stuff like that, they have seal stretchers. So you could stretch it out, get the seal in place, and do that. That's the same basic idea with this. They do make seal stretchers that'll actually go over the threaded part, and this way you can get the, get the seal to go down and over the threads, and then it'll pop in place. Um, but like I said, it's shrinking now. And you can see it's getting closer to the size that it's supposed to be. So once it's down and to the right size, then I'm going to uh, thread this collar back up there, that, that, that threaded nut, that's going to go back up into the power steering pump. And then all will be golden. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, just wanted to show you that. Very simple. You can see it's still getting tighter. It'll, it'll eventually get relatively tight in there. But really not a big deal. Nothing to worry about. Pretty simple. So hopefully you got something out of that. Hopefully I showed you a little trick. So uh, if you did, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. All right, guys. You have a great day. Keep branching.